Hello, hello. <sighs> I just wanted to hang out with you guys for a little bit. The universe has collaborated with me to talk about something that's been on my mind and I just wanted to share with you. So this comes from Brene Brown, who is a shame. Let me get my mic closer. But Brene Brown, she is a shame researcher. And ever since I read her book months ago, uh, Daring Greatly, it's such a good, good, good book. Brene Brown did such a great job. I love her work so, so much. And she talked about um, armor how every single person before they wake up before they do anything they put on giant heavy bulky rigid armor to protect themselves and they've had these armors since they were little little like very very young and we have worn them to protect ourselves and she talks about armor as like defense mechanisms is what I think they kind of are. They're defense mechanisms to protect us from things that hurt us in the past. Like, for example, my armor, um, I have a few, but my armor, um, I tend to shut down. I tend to push people away and I tend to pretend not to care. So those, that's my armor, and that's stuff that I've been trying to deal with for years. And ever since I read her book, I was like, oh my gosh, that, that's my armor. Like, that's what I do to protect myself from pain, to protect myself from embarrassment, to protect myself from ridicule or any, any, any sort of pain. And I was like, wow. Oh my goodness, I never realized this before. To a certain extent, I knew that this was the truth and I didn't know how to get rid of it. But once she brought it to my attention, I was like, oh my God, like this. And I, and I notice it every time I bring my armor up, my shield up to protect myself. I'm like, oh my God, like that's a piece of armor. So I just want to invite you to look at the armor that you're wearing. How do you protect yourself from pain? How do you protect yourself from suffering? If, I mean, you can't really protect yourself from it, but how do you try? And there are tons of different armors, perfection, clinginess, anger, playing victim, blaming others. So it's really time for us to slowly take off these pieces of armor and slowly start to become more vulnerable, more open. Like, I, I want to be able to show my true emotional sensitive self to people, um, but it's just hard to me because my entire life I've been blocking that part of me and not letting people see that side of me. And it's... I'm embarrassed about that side of me, but I know I shouldn't be. But it's just years of making this a habit of protecting myself. It's been, you know, it's been a little difficult to stop that habit. So I would really like you guys to look at your own armor. What armor, how do you protect yourself? and just to slowly become aware of it. And with time, with patience, with progress, we start to slowly take off these pieces of armor so that we can allow and let people see that it's not so scary. Being vulnerable, being open, it's not so scary. Pain is inevitable. Embarrassment is inevitable. All we could do is smile and laugh at ourselves and be unapologetic for our mistakes and for who we are. And that's the message that kept coming to me today that I kept wanting to share. So I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.